Hey everyone, in this lesson um, I'd like to create some uh, simple uh, Lego stuff. So uh, let's see how we can do it. So we'll start with geometry and I'll use um, test geometry and let's align it first. Match size, okay. Then we'll do a bounding box. Um, let's actually use the bounding box. Bound. Okay. Now we'll do a point from volume to fill uh, our uh, bounding box. Then we'll group uh, with the actual geometry. We'll use uh, points, uh, objects, uh, points, points that are inside of the object will be selected. And then we'll uh, delete industry points in this case. Okay, so we have our point. Now let's do some uh, copy step operation uh, to copy two points all right and let's add some attributes to our points in this case it's a uh, scale which is Right, here we have our P scale. So, point one in this case works well, and also we can uh, <coughs> copy our uh, point separation to our P scale. This is a reference, and here we can uh, uh, increase our. Uh, Resolution. Okay, that was too much. Let's say okay. Here I'll also check the fact an instance. Uh, now let's modify actually our uh, Lego brick. I also will align it first. Minimum. Then I'll delete the top face and delete normals to a minus one, zero, and some value. All right, let's do a transform. Here we'll use an expression uh, center pivot so we could scale it in place 0.5 and we'll copy uh, tube onto corners of our square okay let's copy that oops all right but we'll align it on z and caps and some resolution. We'll also copy our P scale. This time we'll just delete the channels and and also we'll match, uh, but not the Y, but the Z. All right, so we have them aligned properly. And I will also mm, reduce some scale. That's a tree, tree five. And we'll merge them together. Sure, Lego bricks, maybe. Okay. 
here a little bit. Okay. So here we have our uh, Lego figure. Uh, we can also add some color, color adjustment, uh, not that one. Attribute color adjust, okay, and use some noise values. So we can play with the colors, but I'll keep it as it is. So uh, here I have. Uh, some pack geometry. Let's see, I have 1000 and plus uh, points. So uh, let me just reduce it, reduce it for the sake of speed. And here I have uh, 890, which is okay. Uh, now, what I'll do, I'll use a for each, for each primitive and I'll do a shrink wrap to um, I'll use a shrink wrap to ease my simulation um, so here I have um, unpack and I'll use the same one back again I won't use the name I'll keep, I think I should have um, so here I have uh, my points and let's do some very simple simulation go export I'll do proxy add the top network packed object rigid body solar okay add some gravity and um, add some ground let's merge So it's very simple, um, rigid body uh, setup, and let's call our proxy geometry. Okay, yeah, and as we see, we have some very simple simulation. So <clears throat> we'll add uh, some export and pack object. Uh, all right, and we'll use it as a point um, because um, I want to replace my um, uh, proxy geometry with uh, with a higher geometry. So here we'll use a transform pieces and we'll attach it here and we'll give it a dynamics and a rest time shift. Delete one. Okay. And as you see, we copied our animation of uh, proxy geometry to our high-risk geometry. This way we have uh, gained some speed. And from here you can uh, modify geometry, add some more resolution, play with the dynamics, maybe add some forces uh, to your animation and, uh, and add some more stuff if you'd like. So this was a very um, small lesson on how to create uh, some uh, Lego stuff. So I hope you liked it and see you later and goodbye.